my name is Kelly Nicholson, and I'm here to talk to you about the IntelliDose. This is an all-encompassing automatic nutrient and pH doser for your reservoir. Then you have the Advanced, which says for experienced users only. The reason that we do that is that once you get this dialed in working exactly like you want, you don't really want other people coming in trying to tweak it and make little changes because it can get a bit confusing. So we, we put that in there to make it to discourage from somebody who may not be too familiar to use it, but it's really not too difficult. If you hit enter, you have your dosing types. Now dosing types, we have simple dosing, or proportional dosing. Most everybody uses simple dosing. Uh, basically what that means is that everything is just dosed out in plain seconds. It's just three seconds here, three seconds there, three seconds there. Uh, proportional dosing would be a little more like a fertigator type unit. Not really necessary for most of our growers. Um, you can learn a little bit more about it if you need to, but for now just go ahead and stick with simple. The dosing mode, you have the choices of sequential or simultaneous. So we always like to go with sequential, which means that you have your A, then your B, and then if you have additives, they will dose in order, not all at the same time. It's a little bit safer. It doesn't have such a power pull on the unit and make sure that all the nutrients don't hit the reservoir at the exact same time where you can get lockout. So we'll leave that on sequential. And then we have lockouts. So this is a safety feature. So this is the EC range lockout. So if your EC is less than 0.1 or greater than 6.0, it's gonna stop P or EC dosing, which is important because if for some reason a pump fails or uh, the, the reservoir becomes too concentrated, you don't want it to keep dosing if there's some sort of failure. So you can edit this and enable it. And uh, there you go, then that would enable the EC range lockout, same for pH. If it goes below 4.5 or above 8.0, it'll stop dosing. Sometimes that happens if somebody puts a full concentrate nutrient or pH solution in the bucket, one or two doses will put it above 8.0 or below 4.5 and you'll want it to stop dosing until somebody can get in there and fix it. And then after you're done with your lockouts, you go into your output functions. So this is where we go into the nutrient parts. Now, like I said earlier, you can run up to eight pumps on the unit itself. Most of the time, people will always run at least one of those with a pH down. So you really truly have seven nutrient parts that you can use. So right now we have an A and a B. But if I had an A and a B, and let's just say three additives I wanted to dose, I could edit this and we would call it a five part. And then we have the pH output setup. Now most everybody uses pH lower, but every once in a while pH raise is necessary. If you were gonna change that, you could go to pH raise and hit save. I'm gonna put it back down to pH lower. And you have options here. You can see you could have both, you can have lower, you can have raise, or you could have none. Let's go ahead and keep it on lower. And then there is an irrigation feature, which we don't currently have connected to this. If you wanted to use the IntelliDose to water your plants, you can purchase a separate relay box, which connects to the unit and will turn a pump on. And it has a pretty, uh, a pretty in-depth digital timer in the unit. So you can dose by the second, you can dose by the minute, by the hour. So some people choose to use that. Uh, water dosing, this would be to add water to lower your daytime uh, nutrient levels. Once again, this is really for our leafy greens customers, lettuce, basil, uh, herbs, things like that. Uh, for most growers who are doing you know, larger, like I said, flowering annuals, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, this isn't a necessary feature. Um, do you have an external alarm output? Do you want to actually like line up an alarm to this? In greenhouses, sometimes people like to have lights that come on in the corners so that if the workers are working, they can't, if they can't hear it, they know that an alarm's going off. This has the ability to do that. So now that you've got everything, all your output functions set. Okay, and then we are done with our advanced settings. From Acid American Hydroponics, happy growing.